Hi everyone, my name is Brzeida Perez and I am the Outreach Logistics Coordinator here at the Children's Museum of Houston. Thank you so much for joining me today and also thank you to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo for sponsoring this video. Today, we are going to be talking about our state flower, the Blue Bonnet. Now, the state of Texas in 1901 adopted the Texas Blue Bonnet as its state flower. But for 70 years, there was actually a debate about which specific flower was the state flower because it turns out there's six different varieties of blue bonnets. So in 1971, the state of Texas just said, the Texas blue bonnet and any other variety of blue bonnets are the state flower. So technically, Texas has six slightly different blue bonnet state flowers. The season for blue bonnets is between mid-March and April, depending on our winter weather. And since we're at the end of that, and Mother's Day is this Sunday, I thought we could make mom some blue bonnets that are gonna last her a little bit longer. So we're gonna be making blue bonnets out of popcorn. Now they might smell delicious and they might look kinda of yummy, but these are not for eating. But I'll show you how we can make some for mama. The materials you need for this activity are two bowls or trays, green construction paper, a marker, green food coloring, some skewers or chopsticks, a paper bag, a bag of popcorn, some glue sticks, a glue gun, a paintbrush, blue painting powder, and you'll also need some paper towels because this activity can get pretty messy. And don't forget a pair of scissors. So the first step is to pop your bag of popcorn. My bag is already popped and you might need to get an adult to pop your bag of popcorn. Once it's ready, you're gonna open your bag Pour half of it into your bowl, and the other half you're gonna pour it into your paper bag. Now put the ones on your tray over to the side, and grab your blue powder paint. Now, if you don't have blue powder paint, you can always use uh, blue food coloring. You just don't wanna add too much, and you have to dry, let it dry for a little longer. You're gonna add some blue powder paint. Seal your bag, and you're gonna shake it. Now it should give your popcorn a different hues of color to work with. Once you're satisfied with your color, pour it into your other tray. Once your blue popcorn is ready, you're gonna put it to the side and you're gonna take your skewer, your food coloring, and your paintbrush. Now I had a hard time finding green skewers, which is the reason I'm painting mine. But you just add a drop of blue of green food coloring and start painting it over your skewer. Once you're done with your skewer, you're just gonna put it to the side for a few minutes and it should dry pretty quickly. And then we can start adding the popcorn to our stem. Now that our skewer is dry, we can start putting our blue bonnet popcorn with the glue gun. Now make sure you have an adult set up your glue gun and of course if you need help don't be afraid to ask. We're going to start adding them about halfway up the skewer and start putting it. You do want to hold it for a few seconds each time so it gives it time to dry. Also when adding your popcorn you can glue them on top of each other to give the flower a fuller look. Once you start getting closer to the top you're going to switch over to your white popcorn since blue bonnets tend to have some white tips. And you're gonna start adding those to the top. Once you're done adding as many as you want to your flower, you're gonna leave it to the side and give it a few minutes to dry. And now we're gonna start making our leaves. You're gonna grab your marker and your green construction paper. You're gonna make the leaves. Depending on the species of blue bonnet, most of them tend to be long and round. So you're going to make then round it out like so. And you're gonna cut them out with your scissors. So remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because your mom's gonna love whatever you make. Once your blue bonnet is dry, you are gonna take your leaves and your glue gun and you're gonna add them to the bottom half of the skewer. You might need some help with this since this one requires a little bit more fine gluing. And you are done. You can add them to a little vase and make a little bouquet. I grabbed this from the dollar store. 
and give your mom some flowers. Thank you so much for joining me today for our activity and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Have a good day.